Since we are doing a hair video today, I'm actually so excited. Wow, well, I haven't done a hair video in so long. Just like sharing with you guys my favorites and stuff. Let me charge my phone because she did it, girl. She real did. Trooper. You always want to say happy when you're filming. Hey, you gotta be nice. Oh, thank you, Pop. Thank you, Pop. Thank you, Pop. As I was saying, it's been a minute since I've done a hair video dedicated to our products I've been using, how I keep my blonde healthy and thriving. I'm always trying out new things and always recommending to you guys the things that work best in my hair, the new hair products that I feel like you need for the summer because we gotta protect our hair from the heat and all those things, the frizziness, all of that. So without further ado, if you wanna see what my go-to favorite products are for the summer, then please keep on watching. First, I'm gonna start with like my most asked question, which is my extensions. I have them right here for reference. I think they're about 20, 18 inches, maybe 24, I'm not sure, but I'll have a link down below. I have been using Luxie extensions for about two years now, and it's all that I've been using. This color right here is the highlights collection which blends so seamless to my hair color. I've had the same pair for a year now, and every transition with like highlights and color, they always blend so beautifully. So I have them like down below. They are such good quality. I like it because these extensions, they actually blend with the texture of your hair. A lot of other brands that I would try, whenever there's humidity or anything outside, you can see my hair like rising up, and the extensions just like falling flat, and you could totally see, girl, that was not my real hair, girl. It was a mess. Anyway, so yeah, love my extensions, ride or die, I've cut them, you can tone them, you can wash them, condition them, deep condition them, and they're honestly so good and so durable, and they are like that fine, thick situation, like for me, I have a lot of hair, but it's all really fine, if that makes any sense, so I found this brand works so great for me, and of course they have more grams to choose from and lengths, so I have them linked down below, my code is LXVALE, and you can save some money at checkout. They also have other kinds of extensions, so I'll link my favorite ones down below with the colors for reference for you guys. Okay, now let's get into the tools that I use to get my signature go-to mom hair. Some of you guys were asking me on the Q&A that I did um, for this video, what is mom hair? So basically mom hair is having like that upper boob length, which is all one length for the most part. And it's really voluminous at the roots with like flip ends. Like it's like that mom that just wants a nice blowout to look presentable and be good to go and not too short not too long so it's always become like a mom hair obviously like it's not like my own thing but um if you look it up on like pinterest and like i was gonna say gmail oh my god google you'll see what i'm talking about so this is actually like the length that i'm always in i feel like either this short or like longer so i vary between like this range right here i haven't been able to grow my hair past my boobs in like I don't know, since I was like in high school maybe, when I met Jason when I was 19. I am 26 now, so my hair, even though it doesn't, it grows very slow, I take really good care of it, so it's always nice and healthy, and for the most part, I'm able to put heat in it, and obviously like lighten it up, and it stays pretty healthy. I must say, I'm trying to transition more into baby lights now. I feel like I went too blonde, and it really did, like, took a toll on my hair when it comes to like the fullness of it and like a little bit of breakage um, but now it's looking so nice and full and pretty I just got my hair done I'll have it linked down below and if you guys are still watching me from Florida which I hope you are I have my hair girl from Florida as well and any other hairstylists that I come along in my hair journey but I just got baby lights um, in my hair and as you can see like at the bottom it's pretty pretty dark because like I said I want to grow my brown base a little more with baby lights in the front and I don't think I'll be doing a money piece again at least how defined as it was so um, she was able to really blend it in and gave me like the highlight look in my bangs in my fringe area ideally I want to go my hair all one length again I cut my hair I'm giving you guys a lot of advice sorry I cut my hair in November and I was like it was like a short girl it was like the quarantine like everybody's cutting their bangs but we're thriving and I feel like one length is just like so like fitting for me and my face and just what I like. So yeah, 
that's the rundown of my current hair situation okay hair tools you guys know i love t3 forever now and i'm so happy to finally be like working with them and like have partnerships with them because it's a brand that i truly believe in and stand on this video is not sponsored at all i'm just like throwing it out there these are the round brushes from t3 they are amazing so to get this like blown out look pretty much i'll take like a big round brush like this one it has a nice grip on it and it's not uncomfortable some of them it hurts your hand when you hold them too much so these really help when you blow down your hair you can wrap up the entire like section if you don't have a lot of hair like me you could definitely do this you can see like like a whole chunk of like half my hair i just like blow it up real tight and then i will take the blow dryer which i left upstairs girl i'm not getting it but i have it linked down below and i just blow hot air and then when i let it go i brush as i go down and it gives me that nice little like blown out wave i feel like with the blow dryer you get less heat but i'll do the same thing here you kind of can manipulate where do you want your waves or your curls to go with these kind of brushes because the bristles are so nice that all the hair stays put and you can literally like give it some cold air hot air and then when you unravel it a nice little situation also it's good for like bangs if you have longer hair if you have shorter bangs or mid-length bangs like i do you could take a smaller round brush and pretty much what i'll do is i'll separate my bang area and then i'll take that round brush from the top and then I'll do the same thing essentially. I'll just like hold it here. And like I said, these brushes have such a nice grip. Like you're good to go if you wanna let it sit there. And then you blow it up from the top, from the bottom, and then you can give it a little twist. And then when you bring it forward, you have that nice like curl, that nice wave in your hair that gives you that blown out look. All at home, it's just a little bit of practice, hot air, and a good, good round brushes. Those are the two sizes that I always go for. A brush to untangle like my extensions or like mainly for like dry hair. I like using this one because it works really nice and my hair never is like, it doesn't pull on my hair and tongue on it. And it's always good to have like a good um, brush. And also if you, if you have more of a straight hair because it is open in the back, you can also blow dry your hair with this if you need something like that. Here we have my go-to paddle brush. This is more of a sturdier brush. If you have a little bit more of coarse hair like I do, my hair is naturally curly. It really untangles knots and anything. So whenever my hair is wet, I always go with my paddle brush and I feel like the padding at the bottom kind of like absorbs the water and just makes it like really nice and easy for me to detangle my hair. And then last but not least, this um, wide tooth comb is so amazing for styling purposes. Like when you curl your hair and you want that more tussled, soft look, you can just brush it out, kind of like push it up like this or just like open the curls a little more and especially when i'm having like my extensions this brush is also pretty amazing my go-to ride or die curling iron my t3 convertible i've used this for like years now i don't even know how old this is but it comes with two attachments small medium and large i don't have much to say about it other than that it's amazing my favorite thing about it has to be the heat settings because you can like control it. It gets super hot really quick and the curls last so long, at least on my hair. And that's why I absolutely love it. No other curling iron or hot tools have been able to give me enough heat to where it doesn't damage my hair. But at the same time, it's long lasting where I don't have to retouch my curls every single day because that can get a little bit annoying and I just don't have time for that. Um, and I also love the clamp. How is that? You guys hear it? It's like a very soft like clamp some of them are like like every single time and this one is so smooth on the hair like i even use the bigger bear if i want the curl to last a little longer i'll hold it for like a couple seconds and then when i let go i get that nice like boa curl and then it's just they're just amazing all their hair tools are amazing and also their hair dryer i love the mini one because i can take it with me everywhere and it's really really powerful so i will have all my hot tools i'm love for you guys another product from g3 that i recently just got and i'm like why didn't i have this before i had another one but i was needing a new one it's a microfiber hair cap for <laughs> the shower well this is kind of cute anyways i love that it's microfiber because you can always use it because whenever you use it in the shower and your hair is obviously dry you don't want to get it wet it doesn't like tingle your hair or rough it up because it's so nice and soft and if there's any moisture that comes in from the shower the microfiber will absorb it and then there's no humidity or nothing in your hair and girl, I can go like four days now without washing my hair because I always make sure I use this in the shower so no humidity gets in there. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know my drama with the water here in LA because I'm not used to this really bad water. But other than that, 
She's cute and she's effective. And we love a pink moment, obviously. And then also from T3, we have the crocodile clips, which are so good for blowouts or even holding like rollers in place or you know anything like that. So they have a black pack and a white pack, and it will literally clamp and hold anything. So yeah, these are pretty amazing. Speaking of hair accessories, I bought these big clamps from Amazon and they are the cutest ever. They're very big and they literally hold anything. It's like nine of them or six of them in a pack for like less than $10. So they, and they come with different colors. There's like a brown one and like a navy one and like just like cute colors that you can wear literally all the time. I always like match onto my outfit, which is really, really cute. But I want to put my hair up but not dent it with like a ponytail. So these are such a good steal. Everybody on TikTok has them and Instagram. So if you don't have them yet, please join the club. I'll have them linked down below. Okay, let's get into some hair care, which is literally something that I'm very passionate about because I never had the best hair, like naturally, you know, some girls or some of you probably have the most perfect hair, you know, and you can just like let it air dry and it's beautiful. I never had that luxury. So I've had to make sure to really like invest my money and time and figuring out what works best for my hair and what's gonna give me the best results. Um, like I said, my hair is curly, so I have to blow dry it. So I need, I need a wash, I need a scrub, I need a prep, I need heat protectant, I need all of that. So let's get into it. Let's start with texturizing spray, brush and whatever. So lately I've been using the Unite U-Dry Plus. It is an extra absorbing dry shampoo spray and it is so fine and so like airy. And that's why I like it because it doesn't feel like that heavy, thick residue. You know some dry shampoos when you put it on, you like, you can't even run your, your hands through it because it's so thick already. And like you can barely see that there's flash and poo in there. And the smell, it's like really like fresh, like, oh, it's a really good like luxe smell. And I'm able to like brush my hair out and there's some like white residue and no like thickness or like, you know, gunk in your hair. It, it's my new favorite one and I just really, really love it. For texture spray, nonetheless iconic way, I can literally do like a blot like this and apply some like, I'm gonna show you on one side. So you wanna lift the hair up for like a blowout moment and like, it just like judge loves the hair. Like, you guys see that? Just gives you like a little bit more of a tussle look to your blowout. Like a little bit messy. It smells so good. It works for any hairstyle, whether it's curls, blowouts, anything else. And again, I like products that I can brush out. I don't leave my hair crunchy or anything like that. I don't use hairspray. I don't remember the last time I used hairspray, guys. Like, at all. You don't need it in your life, I promise. Um, so yeah, really good texture spray. Works amazing on dry hair, natural curly hair. Just anything you want to do, this is... This is the Eosh, okay? Up next, we have a spray that people don't really use and talk about. This is a shine spray from Redken. I freaking love Redken. And it gives you like this glass-like finish to your hair. So I'll play a little bit at the ends. And I always use hair products and makeup products that smell really, really good. It's just way I'm as a person. It's really, really nice, especially when you like have your hair straighter. I feel like you can see more of a result. But even when you have like your hair curled, apply it on the actual curls and it'll give you the prettiest shine and healthy look to it. And even though it's in an aerosol form, it's still really good for your hair. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals or anything like that, so very safe to use and will not damage your hair. Now let's get into like heat protectants and things like that. It's a 10, it's like an oldie but a goodie, very staple, very amazing, 10 benefits, um, keratin, strengthens hair, it seals the particles, protects against heat, um, it's just great for all hair types and it's so good. I kind of grew up using this and like in the Spanish salon So that's why like I'm just like obsessed with it and it just works amazing Another leaving spray that I'm just like ride or die that I will literally repurchase again is from Redken This one has 25 benefits in it. It's an all-in-one treatment and it leaves my hair so soft and not heavy I've tried so many hair products guys that just leave my hair like thick and every time I wash it My biggest pet peeve, one of my biggest ones is washing my hair and yeah, spending a lot of time washing it on wash day and when I go to blow it out, my hair feels thick or like greasy or like this product in it. So I always like products that don't give me product buildup and this one I love. I've been using it for like a year now and it's just like one of my favorites. This product right here is a little bit of an extra situation. You don't really need it, but if you're somebody that loves blowouts like me, I would recommend it. It is a Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. It is great for humidity. So it is just basically a bulletproof spray for humidity if you get frizzy hair you need this because it just seals the cuticles and the hair strands 
So whenever you do blow your hair, it stays nice and smooth all day long or like whenever you do like decide to wash it again. It comes in a smaller bottle. I got it at um, Ulta and you use it, you use it every other like shampoo because it can be a little bit more like on the intense side. Um, but yeah, it just really coats your hair really nicely. So every other wash, after you wash it, before you blow dry it, spray this on. Beautiful finish. Love how it feels. Once this runs out, I'll probably get the bigger one. I am also very, very, very big on hair oils because I feel like that for me, because I have dry hair, it's what keeps my blonde literally healthy and alive. I, this is like the second bottle that I go through from Rekin. You guys have seen me use this for a long time now. It is the Oil For All Multi-Benefit Oil. So this and this together, match made in heaven. I do drops literally every single night and before I blow dry. And it smells amazing. So I just like coat it like at the ends. And when I wake up in the mornings, it just like absorbs so nicely where like my hair is not greasy or anything like that. So I apply it on the ends of my bangs and my ends so that it straightens that area. And they don't really like get split ends. I haven't had split ends, guys. And like, unless this is a start going blonde, I haven't had no split ends because I'm always cutting my hair. That's why it doesn't really grow that much. And I just love having healthy hair. So I cut it before there's even split ends there. So that's why like, I may not have the most like longest hair ever, but my hair is always gonna be healthy because I always oil it up and keep it at a, at a length that's realistic for me and realistic for the results that I can achieve. But I'm telling you guys, applying oil, just even if it's just a little bit to the ends every night, you will see the biggest difference in about like two weeks. You're gonna see your ends stronger and shinier. And if you are looking for hair growth, you will definitely see that. Up next, I'm gonna get into some shampoos that I love. So, you guys have been rocking with Bandai Boost for a hot minute now. I started working with them in quarantine. And I remember during quarantine, I mean, we couldn't go to the salon, we couldn't do anything, so that's where my hair literally grew the most because I was always creating content at home, washing my hair, not really going anywhere. So like the hair was the hair was growing and thriving. This stuff is amazing. I'll never go back to another like hair shampoo or conditioner for like my daily use. I'll try some of them for like a special location or if like I want to try something new, but for the most part, guys, I always go back to use these. And also the reason why my hair stays really healthy because I have very, very healthy roots. So I'm having really healthy roots and my top layer of my head is so healthy. It allows for new growth to come in. So also a good necessity to have. Also a great, also a great product to have to grow strong, healthy hair. Length is optional depending on like, you know, how much heat you put in your hair and things like that. But if you want to just grow healthy hair, this is the way to go. And then obviously like they have their supplements, which are also amazing for extra hair growth. But it all starts from the root guys, like anything like so. Yeah, if you're looking for a shampoo and conditioner, get these. And I love how whenever you wash it, it has like peppermint in it, which like stimulates the scalp and makes it grow and it makes it like really nice and fresh. So you feel that tingly feeling. And I just love it so much. I have these in my bathroom, in the guest bathroom. All my friends have put them on in my family. So if you haven't gotten on my Naboos, I definitely recommend it. And I'm always talking about their hair masks as well. I've gone through like five of these already, even more. It is a miracle hair mask. Also something that I would do like overnight. Whenever I'm around the house, I want to bump my hair up and do something extra for my hair that I have to wash it right after. I'll do my hair mask from Bandai Boost. It is just amazing and this is the thing, like with hair, if you're consistent with it, it'll grow, it'll thrive, just like anything else. So love, love, love my Bandai Boost. Speaking of like treatments and things like that, I wanna go over three products from Way that I have repurchased many times and then I literally like live by. Here we have the treatment mask. This one is pretty cool because it's like a mask that you can put on to actually style your hair. So like on Mondays, when you go work out, when you wanna like slick your hair back, instead of applying like all this like extra gel and hairspray and things like that, you can use a mask that not only is slicking your hair back and gives it that really nice smooth look, but you also like treating your hair, conditioning it, and when you wash it out, your hair is so freaking soft. So you guys see it's like I'm almost out of this one already. Also, when I work out, I know I'm gonna take a shower, I know I'm gonna wash my hair, so I might as well do something and get my hair working up, working out and doing this thing. So yeah, love, love, love this. Also, as a styling cream, I only have two products that I've only used for the past like three years. I don't like putting product in my hair because it just weighs it down because I have fine hair, but these two products have been my rider dyes forever. And guys, I try a lot of stuff that I don't talk about. 
So this is a big deal for me. So the only two products that I use for styling, for the edges, to slick back, you know, really get that polished look, is the Finishing Cream from Way, which Jason also loves, and the Way Matte Pomade. You don't need anything else. Get these two styling products and you will be able to achieve any look that you want, whether it's pigtails, braids, anything, smooth down, flyaways, whatever it is. You only need these two, you will not be disappointed. This one was actually the first product that I ever bought from Way, like when they first launched. And I don't know how I even heard about it, but it always like gives me good memories because I don't know, it just makes me feel good that like I bought this like when I started my influencer career and all that. So yeah, this is really good. And also the matte pomade. It's actually like the first jar that I've ever owned. I've had it for a long time, but you need such a little amount, guys, that this will last you for maybe a year or two, depending how much depending how much you use, but yeah, I love this product so much. Also, I have been loving Bumble and Bumble, like hair products for like prep for your hair. So here we have the Invisible Oil. It is a heat UV protective primer. And it's like, just how you need primer for your face, you need it for your hair, like that barrier between like hot, you know what I'm saying? So you can actually spray this on damp or dry hair, which is really good if you want like a little style refresh, you need a little something to your hair, definitely get this one. Alright guys, another product from Bumble and Bumble that I love, it was recommended by one of my good friends, Karen. It is the Bumble and Bumble BB Glow Thermal Protection Mist. It smells amazing, it's just like a good selling for me. It has a honey protective complex. It protects against heat and repairs damage for a healthy glow. So it's protecting your hair from the heat and also adding that moisture that your hair needs for that silky, pressed, straightened look or blown out look. I have stayed away from like straightening my hair too often if anything i'll run it like through the top just so like it looks presentable um but i feel like that's another thing that has really really helped me with breakage and things like that and i feel like when i strain it my hair's just not voluminous enough and it's just like not my vibe anymore um but i do use it sometimes i use my t3 one i'll have it linked but i feel like it's all in the maintenance and the treatments and what products you use in your hair that will ultimately make the best and most effective difference and last but not least this product that i have never like encountered or tried ever and it has saved my hair like i cannot live without it now and i have been using it low-key for a very long time so this is a scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo i had this in my stash for like a month and i was like this could never work in my hair because like coconut oil any kind of oily scrubs or like thicker Consistencies do not work on my hair, but my scalp started flaking like it's not even dandruff It's just like my scalp gets either too dry or too flaky and it just like flakes off But it's not dandruff where it's like I have dandruff It's just like once in a while my hair just needs like a detox My scalp needs like maybe because of like I wear a lot of hats My hair is always like in bunts and like I always wear extensions so like that's probably what it is, like the extensions like and like th those like dead skin cells and my scalp just don't go anywhere, they just stay there. So sometimes when I wash my hair, it just feels dull and lifeless and like heavy. But girl, when I go in with this, it's like I have a new like fresh like scalp and my hair is so crisp and clean when I blow it out and it gives me like the best reset. I don't recommend using this like all the time because it'll probably dry out your scalp, but girl, this for like at least like a once a month, two times a month kind of thing, like every other week, would be life changing if you're somebody that struggles with like scalp issues. So you do this first on the roots and then this little brush right here, I use it every day in the shower, even when I shampoo it. It just like really gets it into your scalp and it's like rubber. So it's not, it doesn't hurt your head. It doesn't like disrupt like extensions. If you have extensions, you just like press it in your scalp and lightly just wiggle it to stimulate the scalp, get rid of the skin dead skin cells and get that product in there and i feel like with this little brush it really is the key and then after you do that you want to apply the conditioner on the scalp i know the time to do that but i feel like it softens the ingredients in the scrub because it can kind of like you know it just really like strips and cleans your hair so um the only conditioner that works on my scalp that whenever i rinse it up it's not greasy is this one from biojo as well it is a scalp mask Never have I heard of it, never have I used anything like this, and it's honestly so good. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, um, and it's literally an experience, and then you can go after with your regular like um, 
conditioner. I have tried Briogeo shampoo and conditioner before and they're actually amazing, but these two from their brand are actually the ones that I love and thrive on the most. So that was it for my favorite go-to summer hair products. I hope you guys loved the video. I hope that you find some new products to try out or even some of them maybe in your stash and you haven't really played around with them. Um, I'm always here for you guys to answer your questions. Send me a DM on Instagram, drop me a question down below and I'll make sure to get to you. I will have everything linked down below for you guys as always. Don't forget to thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. So until next time, muchos besitos y abrazos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.